Okay, welcome everyone um, to this evening's or this morning's, if you're in Finland, um, webinar. We've got Jarko from Finland, and he's the head of music and magazine services, as you can probably see on the screen. Um, so yeah, take it away. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is a new thing for me, and uh, I appreciate it for asking me. Thanks, Joanna, for meeting me at the uh, IFLA at Brodschlav in, in, uh, in the summer, uh, and thanks for the invitation. And uh, I'm gonna shortly talk about the, uh, the music uh, services we do in the library here, in the main library in Tampere, in Finland. I'm gonna shortly take you to, to, uh, to what's, what's the, the Tampere City Library, and we're gonna talk about new ways of doing uh, music work in the library. And uh, finally, I'm going to talk about the uh, the Metsa Live uh, concept we have here. Uh, it's a combination of live music, library collections, uh, people, and social media. And uh, after that, you can ask me some questions. And here you can see the uh, uh, social media addresses of our uh, department. You can find us on Instagram, uh, Twitter, and Facebook. You can find lots of information from there. So please go and uh, check, check those sites. Okay. I think this is showing, so probably. Okay, so uh, at the uh, IFLA Congress, we had this uh, concept, uh, the new music librarians, and we were think thinking about the, uh, the right ways to uh, uh, talk about the, the music library work we do. And uh, this is a kind of a concept we, we, uh, we had in mind, mind, mind on that uh, situation. Uh, and uh, this is a kind of metaphor for for the uh, the work we do here in the in the library. Uh, here you can see again the addresses of of our social media services, so uh, um, you can find those those as well. Shortly about my background, uh, I'm 37 years old now. Uh, I've been working in the music library for about 10 years now uh, and I'm been head of the services uh, for about six years now. And I have a very strong musical background. I have uh, played many instruments in many bands. I have played uh, classical instruments, but I have played also uh, uh, for example, guitar in a band. And I have also studied music um, in the music, uh, ethnomusicology department here in Tampere University. So uh, I just wanted to tell you that this because uh, I think it's important that in my work I can use all the sides of uh, music and I can make use of all the sides of music as a phenomenon. Um, this has to has something to deal with uh, the library work we, we do because music has so many sides and uh, if you're thinking about the, uh, uh, for example, music, different musical formats, uh, for example, CD loans are declining uh, and the, uh, the consul consumption of music is changing to uh, streaming uh, and, and digital services. So we have to figure out new ways to, uh, to make everything out of music. And uh, that's what I'm gonna talk to you about today. Uh, shortly about Tampere City Library. Um, we're kind of a big library in Finland. Tampere is located in the uh, southern Finland. You can see it here. Um, 
And uh, Tampere, Tampere city is uh, approximately uh, the second biggest city in Finland. We have approximately 250,000 people living here. Um, and it's a kind of a perfect sized city, I think, for Finnish size because we have uh, lots of uh, different musical festivals, organizations that we can work with. Uh, but also we're kind of a, uh, a big city enough to, uh, to have uh, different events going on here and uh, many people visiting our, our department. This is the uh, setup for the, uh, our department. So I'm the head of uh, music and magazine services here in the library. Uh, and this is the, uh, th these are pictures from uh, the music and magazines department in the main library. So the main library in main library Mezzo is the, uh, the biggest library in Tampere. Uh, we have also 14 other libraries here, branch libraries, but this is the biggest library. And uh, Mezzo has been renovated now, so the renovation project has ended and uh, we have uh, great new spaces here that we can use on uh, kind of this um, improvising uh, new library work we do here. Uh, so in the upper, upper right, you can see uh, the magazine department. Uh, we have physical magazines, we have newspapers, but we also have different e-services, tablets, uh, big screens for uh, e-magazine reading and so on. Um, and, the, and down here you can see a picture from uh, an event that was held here in the music department. So we have um, an idea of making all the events happening in the library between the shelves. That's a basic idea uh, of bringing people in the library. So we don't want to the people to uh, go, uh, go to an auditorium or so on. Uh, we want the people to come to our library uh, and be to, to between the collections and between the shelves. And here's a big, bigger picture of, of the, the music event. Uh, this is actually from our, one of our Mezzo Live events. It was a very fi famous uh, Finnish rock band called uh, Lasten Hautausma. Uh, I think it translates uh, something like uh, Children's Cemetery. Uh, it's a very nice uh, in indie band. Uh, although the name isn't so, so funny, but uh, it's a very, very good band. Um, and as you can see from the picture, we try to build a co community uh, around this, uh, also the Metal Live things we have here, but also the different music events happening here. Uh, the people are so important. Uh, and the customers are so important. So you have to, you have, to have ways to, to contact them in, in different ways. And here's another example of the uh, events happening here. So, so we want all the happenings, hap uh, the happenings to be in the library and between the shelves. And as you can see, we have uh, many different people coming to the shows and events happening here. We have uh, children, we have elderly people, we have work, workers and, and we have, I think we have everything. Uh, and this is kind of good to remember uh, when you're thinking about different events. So you have to bring something to, to everybody. You have to bring something to uh, children. You have to bring something to, to people that are interested in popular music. You also have to bring something to people uh, that are listening and interested in classical music. 
So bringing up the, uh, the different genres of music is, is so important to us. Shortly about the, uh, the cooperation and partnerships we do, uh, because all this we do in the library, in the music library, we couldn't do this alone. So, so the uh, partners, musical festivals, different music organizations are very important to us. And uh, here's a slide that presents different options we have here, these are in Finnish, sorry, but uh, uh, these are different musical organizations uh, that are located in Tampere or Tampere region. Uh, not all of these are in Tampere, some of these are uh, kind of Finnish organizations. But for example, Tampere Philharmonia uh, that you can see here. Uh, is the, uh, the uh, Philharmonic Orchestra of Tampere City. Very good quality orchestra with uh, lots of good quality programs. <clears throat> and we do different events uh, with them. And the cooperation can be, um, can kind of, can be in many ways. Uh, we can make events happening here when, where a librarian interview is interviewing for example uh, the conductor or a composer but we can also make workshops where uh, children can learn to play a different instrument or the philharmonic orchestra players are uh, presenting their instrument or telling their story about the instrument and the, uh, the music hobby they have uh, so the partnerships can find different ways uh, here you can see also, for example, Tampere Jazz happening, which is a Tampere Jazz Festival. Uh, we have had very fruitful uh, combination of different cooperation things happening with them. Um, we have had the, uh, the mobile library, which is a kind of pop-up library thing. We have had that uh, visiting the Tampere Jazz Festival. But also the uh, Tampere Jazz Festival has presented programs uh, to the library and uh, we have had librarians interviewing jazz musicians and so on. Um, so just for example, uh, when I was talking about the, uh, my background in a way, uh, I'm always trying to, to find different ways um, how to make different, how to, how to bring different sides of music uh, to our customers available. And uh, that's one thing we do here as a combination. Uh, our librarians and our team are working constantly on, on different aspects of music. Uh, and this also has to deal with the uh, answering, answering the kind of challenge we have dealing with the, uh, the changing of musical consumption and music consumption uh, in popular culture these days. For example here, uh, this is the main conductor Santu Matias Rauvali, uh, the main conductor of Tampere Philharmonia. Uh, he was visiting here in, the, in our library. Uh, and actually here uh, a Philharmonic Orchestra's uh, assistant was interviewing him about different subjects. Actually, this was um, from Sibelius, which is a very famous Finnish composer. I think the most famous composer in Finland. We have had this um, seven words of Sibelius uh, social media campaign, where different musicians uh, and also customers uh, shared their uh, visions and um, opinions about this this great composer we have here uh, and these are the posters we do uh, from every event and this is important because I, I th think that this kind of marketing uh, and visualization of, of our events is so important these days um, 
So we want all the posters to be this same kind of uh, looking posters. We have this library logo everywhere. Uh, and we have the, the same kind of visual thing happening in all the posters. And this is a kind of good example also from the variety of different events we have here. Um, for example, here, Juha Hurme, uh, he's a writer, actually, uh, and he was talking about his new book that was attached to, to this music subject in a way. It was not uh, all about music, but it has deal with the music uh, and the music subjects. Uh, and also we have a Mezzo Live poster here. Um, and the Mezzo Live con uh, concept, I'm going to talk to you later about this uh, specific combination uh, and concept. But it's a concept of bringing together people and social media and, and library collections and, uh, and so on. Here we have also this uh, Mozart poster. Uh, this was a very famous Finnish uh, writer that wrote a book about uh, Mozart. And he was talking about also the book from in, in the, uh, the, the department here. Um, and so on. So, so the events can be different and uh, we can find different ways of, of doing music library work these days. Okay, so here um, is an example of a Finnish folk music band. They're dancing on the tables here. Uh, sometimes that this can happen also. Um, <laughs> but this is an um, example of the, uh, the variety of different musical genres. So it's so important to keep in mind that we have many customers here uh, going to the library so we have to bring uh, different genres available for these customers. So we have to have folk music, we have to have classical, popular music, and so on. And um, these are kind of very active happenings here. People come together. It's, it's a very, um, it's not so formal situation. It's more like a living room thing. And uh, that's one of the main reasons, I think, uh, the, or one of the main reasons that it's, it's kind of a living room thing. It's uh, because of the situation we have the events happening here in the library. So we have all the people coming to the library and between the shelves, uh, and it's important to us. Um, also, it's important to keep in mind that the customers can also share uh, and talk about their visions. Uh, this is a picture of, of a comic event. Actually, this was, was a Mezzo Live event, but there was also a comic book launch uh, during the event. So this is a comic book artist called Emini Eminen. He, he's, uh, she's talking about the, uh, the comic book attached to, to the, uh, the new album that was released. And um, everything is kind of linked to the music. Uh, and this goes back to the, what I was talking about earlier in the start, that we have to find different ways of, of uh, things, collections, people, artists that are linked to, to music. And this could go on and on. You have uh, so many options that you can use. Uh, this is a picture of, of a music talk we do here for fifth graders. So in Tampere we have this cultural uh, learning program uh, going on. It presents different cultural um, um, things, con concerts, uh, theater, and so on, to, uh, to children. And the fifth graders are uh, a music uh, group uh, that 
also come to the library uh, to, to this music talk uh, thing our librarians are doing. Uh, this has been a very interesting way of presenting new uh, and different cultural music cultures to, to children. Here you can see the, uh, uh, the, the first slide of this um, uh, music talk uh, lecture. So it's a kind of um, uh, the, a route uh, for different music cultures. So people can uh, learn different music cultures, different instruments, uh, different artists, different composers from all over the world. And uh, the people can also uh, be involved in, in, in the journey. So, so they roll uh, a wheel of fortune kind of thing, <laughs> which you can see here. Uh, and uh, it's unpredictable to, to predict the, uh, the, the next step where the, uh, the, the travel is going all over the world. But the basic idea is to, to present different musical cultures uh, in the world. And uh, I think it's one of the ways where children can learn something about themselves also and uh, when they learn something about different music cultures they can uh, perceive a perception of themselves and uh, also the uh, the music uh, music things happening in the world so it's not just uh, this kind of mainstream popular music it's folk music uh, classical music uh, whatever so so many different options and many different musical genres. Okay, so now we're gonna head to the, uh, the Mezzo Live concept. Uh, and we had a poster in, in IFLA about this subject. And um, I think Mezzo Live is, is an example of our music work we do here. Uh, it's a kind of new example of the new music library concept that is possible made to made to make uh, so it's a combination of of library collections so collection is very important uh, it's a combination of artists going to the library people uh, and live music and social media and this is this was the uh, the, the concept we had uh, in IFLA, uh, it's called the New Music Librarians, and it's a kind of example of the way, <clears throat> way we were talking about, uh, we were thinking about the, uh, the Metz Alive subject, how to present it uh, kind of internationally. Uh, and the Metz Alive is not so good name uh, when you're presenting something uh, internationally. So we came up with, with this very humble uh, idea of the new music library and the new, new music librarians. And we have also, uh, we made these t-shirts and uh, other stuff with this same logo and, and the same visual strategy. And here, here you can see the, uh, the poster uh, we had in IFLA. It's actually, uh, here in two slides, but uh, but still. Uh, so the values here are presented first. So so we want to put the music first. Uh, and when the consumption is changed, as I was talking about earlier, there's so many different ways that you can use music and and. Uh, take all the advantage of, of music out. So we should think and improvise uh, ourselves in using and, and thinking about other ways to, to, to use music in the library. Uh, the library content is, is very important. So the basic idea is that the artists that come to the library 
during the Mets Alive uh, happenings, they share their book, movie, music recommendations. And uh, this has been a very interesting thing because we found out that there's no such media or uh, forum for artists uh, to share their recommendations than the library here. And uh, we also post uh, pictures to social media where artists uh, make recommendations of books and uh, we also take photos of the artist and the book and so on. <clears throat> so this has so many uh, chances and opportunities to, to, to use the library content as well as the live music. And so on the people are, are important. Uh, we want the community to take part of this and we wanted the, the people that are our customers that they are involving in social media conversations and the events that we make on, on social media sites, Facebook, for example. Uh, so the people actively um, make discussions about an artist or, or maybe a book recommendation and, uh, and so on. So it's bring people, collections, music together. And also we want to build a community. We have had many people visiting the Metal Live shows that uh, they al always come to the library when, when a such so show is, is available. Uh, and Metal Live has, has been also important of bringing new customers to the library. So the people that aren't so used uh, of using library services are coming to the library to listen to Metal Live shows. Uh, and when they come to the library to listen to the shows, they maybe uh, get a new library car, they maybe loan something. Uh, and also it's a chance for us to, to talk about the library services. And then live music. We have had, in, in the Metal Live concept, we have had uh, many different artists from a variety of genres visiting here. So it's not all about indie music. We have had world music, jazz, folk, fusion, uh, and so on. So the different genres are very important. And last but not least, the, uh, the social media side. I think these days you can't uh, deal without a perfect kind of good social media use. And that's uh, the thing that is, it's a challenge for us also. Uh, it's a challenge for us librarians to, to renew our uh, professionalism in a way. Uh, but it also, it's, it's so important that library is where the people are. Um, and we use uh, different social media services, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. And we also post the Meta Live show videos on YouTube. And you can find them on YouTube. Uh, just type on the search box, uh, Meta Live, Meta Live. And you can find all the uh, the Mets live shows also from uh, the YouTube YouTube channel of Tampere City Library. Uh, and when uh, developing the concept, uh, we're now thinking about new ways of doing these videos uh, for YouTube. Um, so it's we have had different uh, ways of streaming. We have tried Periscope. We have tried Facebook Live. Uh, we have tried also this kind of high quality HD streaming, live streaming. And now we are trying uh, more um, kind of this new way of editing the videos quickly and, and shortly to, to address the kind of new way uh, how people are doing videos on the internet. Um, so I think in the future you can find lots of different ways of, of doing Metal Live videos uh, from us. 
Here's a picture of, of a librarian, Johanni Koivisto, uh, ho holding a conversation before the live show during the Metsu Live event. This is Pale Face. He's a very famous Finnish rapper uh, and also an active citizen, <laughs> if, you, if you will, if you say. Uh, he's an activist in a way, also a writer and so on. And, and here, Paleface, uh, the rapper, is talking about uh, books, movies, music that were influential to him. Um, and this is very interesting because the artists share their stories and uh, there's so many interesting stories behind the music and uh, behind the... Uh, uh, the inspiration of the artists that uh, it's so new for many customers to you to hear these kind of stories behind the music uh, and it's very interesting and it's kind of a new angle uh, to the music of the artists and this is important because I think it's a main it's one, one of the, uh, the main ideas of a library uh, is to find new ways of people, artists and collections uh, finding, finding uh, themselves and, and bringing collections and people together. So you always have to find new ways of, of doing this, this work. Yeah, here's a picture of, of uh, of the uh, the uh, situation where we did this high quality streaming, we did this with uh, three cameras, and this was also a cooperation thing. Uh, we don't have these cameras in the library. Uh, we had another uh, organization in Tampere City uh, that was involved in in documenting these events. So they have had all the uh, the tools and the, the cameras and also the, the, the kind of people to, to, do this, to do this work. So you, you can't do this alone. You have to have good cooperation partnerships uh, and also renewing the partnership uh, thing is very important to find new partners and new cooperation things that are perfect for, for the library thing we do here. Uh, here's a poster of Metso Live. Uh, this is this was Olavi Uusivirta visiting here. Uh, he's a very famous Finnish singer songwriter, <clears throat> also an actor. Uh, he was he was visiting Metso Live about two years ago, and uh, actually this is in Finnish. Yeah, the uh, on the right, but. Metso Live has, has interested uh, lots of journalists and, and media uh, across Finland and uh, there has been so many, uh, there has been many uh, newspaper ri writings about this concept um, uh, and uh, it's a kind of, uh, I think, uh, a presentation of the the importance of these kinds of events, uh, and mainly the uh, the importance is there that the the, cost, uh, the artists are aren't just coming to the library to play a show. It's also always about the collections. It's always about the people. It's always about the librarians that interview the artists. So many people uh, and many uh, things are. Uh, important. Yeah, here's the, uh, a picture of uh, uh, Tre Funk 3. It's a rap combination uh, uh, in Tampere. And they were also in the, uh, the Metso Live uh, happening uh, about a year ago. So the Metso Live, we have had approximately 20 or 30, uh, I think 30 uh, Metso Live shows 
during uh, the uh, three or four past years. So at the start, we didn't have any experience of, of the kind of holding he the live show in the library. Uh, our librarians weren't uh, doing any interviews before that. This has been a, um, a travel to, to a kind of new world, uh, a travel to, to new library world, new library work in a way. Uh, so the librarians in our team are now curating uh, collections uh, uh, attached to, to these events and in, in social media as well. So it's a step for, for the new professionalism, I think uh, the music librarians can do in the future. And here you can see pictures here. So one of our librarians in the, in the uh, up, you can see Ilona, uh, which is trying an ukulele here. Ilona has hosted also the, uh, the library events uh, here. Uh, down here, you can see Johanny interviewing some, some music journalists. Uh, and also we have uh, another librarian, Lea Tastola, which is working also also uh, uh, with artists and composers interviewing them in different events happening here in the library. So if I make this all together, um, first of all, the library content is very important still. Although the consumption of music has changed, uh, the collection in here, for example, in our department, it's not so longer built on one main format, uh, which was CD format, for example, CD records. Uh, we have also vinyl records here. We have cassettes coming back. Uh, and the consumption of recorded music has changed so, so dramatically. Uh, we have also sheet music collection, which is very important and very big here. Uh, we have music books, music magazines. So it's not just the CD format anymore. It's more eclectic, uh, variety of different musical collections. And second, the, the cooperation and partnerships are, are very important. So cooperation with artists, cooperation with music festivals, and also in the uh, commercial actors, uh, the partnerships are very important. So now when I was talking about the posters we do, uh, when we do posters, we market them with the partners together and it uh, attached a much more wider audience when we do it together than when if we could do it alone so so the cooperation is very important so marketing together as a broader set of different and wider target groups in a way um, and third the digital collection is very important so uh, i think it's very important that the, the library workers have the skills uh, to use different e-material services uh, and it's a very important way of presenting them in the customer service to different people uh, so you have to have the basic skills that you can use the digital collection as well um, and you have to have uh, a realistic kind of perception of the ways people use and consume uh, the music consumption is developing uh, these days and uh, finally uh, we couldn't do this without the enthusiasm uh, to library work so I think this is one of the most important things in general if you if you're thinking about working in the library so you have to have the enthusiasm of doing your work uh, and the, the things we do here uh, they Mostly they develop uh, in a way of learning by doing. So uh, 
we are doing and learning at the same time. Uh, also, do it yourself kind of mentality is very important to us. And you have to have the basic confidence of your skills, uh, to how, how to use them in your work. Uh, then you can uh, perceive some, some, some great things. Uh, and also, if you're thinking about this, this teamwork, we have different specialists. We have uh, librarians that are into popular music. We have librarians that are into classical music. And this is very important to have different roles, different strengths of the librarians. <clears throat> and uh, they, they make this team uh, happening. And it's kind of multidimensional uh, professionalism in a way that we have, have to have different, different professionals working here. Uh, then this has to deal with also the, uh, the strong use of social media. Uh, so you have to have the basic, at least the basic skills of using different social media services, uh, posting Facebook, posting Instagram, posting Twitter. It's so important to, to use them uh, during your work and in everyday work in a way. Okay, uh, that was it briefly. So that was uh, the presentation I had in mind. So uh, what did you think? <laughs> I loved it. I thought it was super interesting. And I've got a couple of questions for you. <laughs> okay. Um, the first one isn't actually related to music, but it's about the magazine shelving at the library, mm -hmm. I saw. Yep. How did you decide um, what kind of shelving to use? Because I find that magazines are really hard to display nicely. Mm. Yeah, actually all the, uh, the magazines we have uh, in the magazine department, I think we have uh, about 650 physical magazines mm -hmm. coming to the library, and they are all in alphabetical order. Mm -hmm. So every magazine is in the same yep. alphabetical order. Mm -hmm. We don't have a, any classification or genres of the magazines. We mm -hmm. have all of them in the same. Mm -hmm. And same in terms alphabet. of the like physical shelves, is it on like in cubes or? Um, yeah, they are kind of in cubes, and there's pro, um, there's a display in in front of the mm -hmm. cube where the newest. New newest magazine number is presented. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yes, that makes sense. And I also yeah. was curious. Um, do you ever have anyone perform that plays a piano? And if you do, like, how do you move the piano or store <laughs> it? <laughs> yeah, uh, so we have music rooms uh, here in the library, uh, here in the music department. So we have three uh, acoustic music rooms. Uh, and uh, two music rooms have acoustic pianos in them, and one of these music room rooms is a kind of a studio room. And uh, we can move the piano from the music rooms. It's it's actually uh, like five meter way, <laughs> so yeah. it's not yeah. so not so uh, difficult to to move the pianos. And we also can use electric pianos. We have an electric piano in the department, so we can okay. use that all as well. Yeah, that's good. Um, in my old job, I look. I was part of the events like team. It was about two people, and we always had people that would play the would want to play the piano, but we we didn't have one, and there was no way we could get one <laughs> into our small space. And so I was super jealous. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that you could have, have a piano. Yeah, every music department in the world should have a pia good piano, I think. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> um, and the last question I had also was, um, what do you think is the biggest change or the most challenging change that you've seen over the 10 years that you've been working um, in this area? Well, to be, to be clear, I think... Uh, the changing of, of mus musical consumption, mm. mainly the recorded music has, has been so, so dramatic. Uh, although it's, 
I think it's we all we all are familiar with this change now, but but it also I think the it it uh, it needs a bit more thinking from the librarians to to how to to uh, to make make the collections available uh, these days to customers mm -hmm. because the music consumption has changed. Mm -hmm. However, music uh, uh, has so many sides uh, still, so you can find different ways of, of finding, finding new ways of music to, to, to make things ha happening in the library. So, so there, there is chances, you know, <laughs> that you can use using your work. Mm -hmm. Cool, thank you. Did you have any questions, Laura? I have a few. <laughs> okay. Hi, Jarko. I was in uh, Tambury City in 2015, so I visited the library then. Okay. Your music collection and services, you have your own floor in the library, don't you? Uh, actually, yeah, we have this music magazine department. Uh, it's in the upper floor of the Metso Library. So we are one department, but it's, yeah, it's another floor, yes. That must make it a bit easier to have music. I think in our library, we always have to consider, you know, is there going to be too much noise? Some people mm -hmm. maybe don't like. Um, mm -hmm. I was going to ask about the posters. Do you make yeah. them? in the library or do you outsource that to another company uh yeah so these these posters um actually yeah we do though these in the library we have a person that is working in the library that is uh, is responsible of these um and as i was talking about it's very important that these are visual and colorful and uh, also display the, uh, the library logos yeah, because really then good. people can uh, find the library easier, I think, when, when they see the same logo and the same visual strategy happening uh, all over. Mm -hmm. so, so they can find our library easier. But we have a, a person working in the main library that is responsible of this. I was wondering, yeah, how many people are on your team? Uh, yeah, in our team, there's 10 people uh, and approximately how, half of them are working in the magazine department uh, and half of them are working uh, with the music collections. Mm -hmm. Has has your music and magazine collection always been together? No, it's, it's, this is kind of new, new combination. So our department is, is quite new uh, because first of all, when I came here in the department, uh, I was responsible only for, for the music department. But now I'm responsible of also from music and, and the magazine collections. And it's really interesting because um, Somehow we we are dealing with the same challenges <laughs> in okay. magazines and music. That uh, makes sense. The consumption of uh, magazines and consumption of music and listening to music has changed in a way, uh, kind of in in the same way. So it's kind of a good combination, I think. Hmm, that's really interesting. What? Um, when the customers are borrowing music, do you mm -hmm. have a digital format that they can borrow? So the customers can bo borrow everything. So they can borrow music books, music sheet music collection, they can borrow music CDs, vinyl records, whatever. Or was this what you mean? Meant? Is, there a, is there a digital? format like at uh, our library we, ha we have these it. different yeah we have the we, we have these different streaming services available also for customers we have uh naxos music library and also naxos world music library and naxos music library jazz so there's three naxos streaming music services available for customers and customers you can use these services uh, with the library card 
just logging into the to the service and uh, there's also very good mobile apps that you can use uh, attached to the, the these services so people can uh, use these services like any other uh, streaming service for example Spotify or Tidal or whatever is that quite common in Finland I think it is uh, quite common in Finland I think the mo many of, I think mainly all Finnish libraries have the Naxos Music Library service in their use. Not so much, uh, not all of them have, have the jazz and the world music service, but mainly all have the, uh, the, the basic Naxos streaming service in their use. How about your library? No, we don't have something like really? that. Julia, do you know if um, Wellington does? I'm not sure. I know they've got a vinyl collection, but I'm not sure about the online I don't, side. Yeah, I don't I'm think pretty... they really have a, a streaming service. Um, no. Well, I'm pretty sure library. Auckland is yeah. the only one. Uh, okay, Auckland. So, yeah, you yeah. should contact Naxos, I think. Yeah. I think they, <laughs> they could be very interested in, you know, providing the service to your library. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe I will make good? that recommendation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it quite well used? Uh, I think it is. Yes. Um, and what I was talking about the uh, the the marketing thing. It's when the customer service in the in the hat when a people uh, when a person come to the library and ask questions about music, how to find different composers, how to find CDs. It's so important that the librarians can present the Naxos Music Services uh, during the customer service contact. Uh, it's important that the librarians have the skills to use. And I think this is um, a thing we have to be able to learn, you know, every day. Uh, and uh, people People have to use the services so that they, they can tell the services to customers. Sure. But these are quite well used, I think. And for example, the mobile app, uh, it's so handy to use, uh, like what any other streaming service, uh, the library Naxos Music Services. So, so it's very, very good good application and very good service. Yes, I think our CDs are probably <laughs> getting a bit um, left behind, maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not everyone has uh, equipment to use the CDs anymore. I don't have anything to play a CD on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we have different groups of customers that are using CDs heavily still yes. uh, for example these heavy rock uh, and uh, <laughs> and uh, heavy metal users they they prefer cds still that's interesting and okay. <laughs> then we have this um, entertaining uh, music side uh, how do you say we have this iskelema culture in finland we have this it's kind of dance music old dance music culture uh, the the people that are listening to this music, they're also loaning CDs still uh, heavily. And also children's music is kind mm -hmm. of popular to use on CDs as well. Yeah, we days. have that too, I think. Yeah. Uh, so there is certain groups that are, are using CDs still. And is the vinyl quite popular as well? Uh, we have actually uh, about 600 vinyls at the moment and these are all new or uh, newly uh, printed vinyls yeah so so that collection is in very good use uh, at the moment and uh, I think we should go to go to record store and get some more yeah. <laughs> We don't have vinyl in my library. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I was talking about, it's strange because this music consumption is so fragmented these days. 
because uh, we have a very strong indie culture in Tampere, uh, and the people are using cassettes also. Really? So we have cassettes also. <laughs> now, <laughs> we have about 20 or 30 cassettes. Maybe in the future we have more. But, but you know, this is the way it goes these days. Mm -hmm. So people use streaming services, they use vinyl records, they use CDs, they use cassettes, they use, you know, everything. So, so having lots of options is maybe the yeah, best. Yeah, it's a very big challenge for the library because it's not so much about this one main format anymore. Mm, very fragmented. Yes. Mm. I think it's great that you still cater for the smaller groups. Um, by having like vinyl and cassettes because I think a lot of libraries in New Zealand just get rid of them if the majority of users aren't using it. That's a very good point. That's a very good point. Uh, I think this has to do with uh, kind of understanding of the people. The people are so important to us and all the customers are so important to us. So we have to bring uh, different options for all the customers and um, although uh, the statistics and all the uh, the managers they want to to think about the collection in in a kind of whole, but I think these kind of uh, min minimal and and weak signals are also very important when we're thinking about the new ways of doing doing the library work. Yeah. Do you have to justify having those collections to um, the managers who look after budgets and that kind of thing? This was a very good point, actually. I, was, uh, I should have been talking about this earlier because uh, all the work we, do, we have been doing in the live shows and workshops and cooperation things, I think this has led uh, to the situation that we don't have to uh, do <laughs> that kind of, uh, you know, thing. So, so people understand that this is very important, but this has also been important to in keeping, uh, the certain kind of collection options available. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's awesome to hear. Mm -hmm. That's great work. Um, I've just noticed we've almost come to the end of our hour. So, does anyone have other questions? I was just going to say, I think the idea of the interviews is really interesting. That's something we haven't done very much. We have people come in and play music um, and entertain or, or something, but not really interviews. And I think that's quite a good idea. I quite like mm. that. Yeah, I think that's, um, that's the key, I think for the librarians also to, to make new connections and make new professionalism of their own work. Um, and it's, the library is kind of a host also. So when an artist is coming to the library, you definitely should have a host <laughs> that is ready for her or him. Uh, and um, yeah, I think that's, very important because our librarians are so good with different collections and they know so many things about popular music and uh, classical music so so it was it would be a shame not to use uh that kind of uh knowledge i think mm. that's really interesting thank you thank you kitos kitos <laughs> that was great <laughs> yeah. Thank you for getting up so early. <laughs> yeah, this was great. Uh, the sun is almost shining now, so it's good. It's not <laughs> dark anymore. <laughs> it will be a good day. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. And um, we'll send you.